hear my people, so them finally find a teacher. Yes, I'm glad to see them find the body, you know. But the body was in a terrible condition. Yeah. But hopefully everything work out okay. Yeah man. Let's watch this part. A week of intense searching for Natil Darkins, a teacher of four parts parts primary and junior high school in Clarendon came to a painful end yesterday. Well it's not actually yesterday, but I'm just reading the story of it as it is. Ah a body believed to be hers was found in a shallow grave in Sandy Bay. Searching searching parties have been combined in two bushes in St. Catherine and Clarendon in search of Dawkins who had who was last seen alive on March thirty. Sheila Sheila Smith, a teacher of Rare Technical High School in Clarendon, was among the person who turned up at the search area the day after after the day after the in an effort to locate Dawkins. Hours before the skeleton remains skeletal remains were found in the shallow grave, Smith told that she was prepared to go as long as it took until Dawkins was found. Extremely afraid. Following Dawkins' disappearance, a team of teachers combined forces with the police and soldiers in an, in a, an attempt to find her. However, they like family members and well-wishers were left broken hearted when the discovery of the decomposed body signaled the end to the search. I, f I feeling a bit down right now and extremely afraid, Smith said. While I wait on the DNA result to confirm identity, my, my gut's feeling is telling me it may be her. This is scary and a cause for concern. As young woman, we are not safe. I fear for my life, the life of my children and the life of my fellow colleagues, she said. As a justice of the peace for the parish, I felt the need to speak out. She, she is a teacher and we need to stand together in support of her. Nani. Natale is the sister of my cousin, so she is like family. Jasper Burrell, president of the Jamaica Teacher Association, said Dawkins did represent a sad moment for the country and the teaching profession when we can begin to turn on our teacher in a manner like this we know that we need divine intervention he said Lotton cousins members of parliament for clarendon south western said he said was sudden as dawkins contributed positively to the constituency and the parish he said that the, that the incident of violence against women is alarming and call on the government to implement torture penalties to punish criminals. I am also calling on the Ministry of Education to deploy whatever resources are at the disposal, disposal for the four parts primary school to assist immediately with grief counseling for the teachers and 
and the salary staff and to extend these services to the children with whom Miss Darkins would have interacted, he added. Jeff Bedford, 20, who was found in possession of Darkins' Toyota Wish motor car, was shot dead during a shootout with the police in St. Catherine last Saturday. Bedford brother and two other men are in police custody in connection with her murder. Yes, my people, so there you have it. That's the whole story on the teacher that died. It's a real sad story, you know. Yeah, and people are getting more evil and evil every day, my people. So I want you to watch on yourself out there. Yes, my people. And have a beautiful day.